Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. State security requires that you are briefed. Mm. I can't come from Nakon and straight into State House and God forbid, I hope when I'm president, uh, he will not walk away out of State House, he will brief me. <laughs> uh, because yeah. truly, uh, Pastor, I think we must say it clearly, mm. these are our brothers have failed. It's time mm. for the, you know, the nurturing hands of mothers to take over this. because. There is absolutely no way that uh, uh, President Haga in the HDMI, who says he went to University of Zambia and is educated, mm. and is a, a fund in economics, can bring us to where we are. Mm. Basically, a basket case in the region. We mm. were the people who used to feed the others. We fed. We fed Congo, we fed Zimbabwe in 2019, 2020. We are, we are the fountain of hope. We had come to a point where we are food self-sufficient enough to even feed our brothers. But he walks in, he doesn't take an inventory. Mm. He starts harassing everybody without any briefing notes from FRA or from his predecessor. He says he, he is a, the salesman number one for the nation. Mm. He's not saying that he, he is the caretaker for the nation. He says, me, I'm a trader. Mm. I'm your salesman. I will sell everything. And he went on a rampage to sell our mess. If you went to Mpulungu, there were ships docking in Mpulungu collecting maize and minimum. Uh, at the time of last harvest, there were people from Tanzania, people from Luanda, people from Burundi in the villages mm. buying maize. You can't do that in Tanzania. The last season, there were people from DR Congo collecting caterpillars in Kanchibia. Mm. Are you expecting uh, my relatives from Kanchibia to go and collect diamonds in Congo? Mm -hmm. Why are we so careless? Why are we so, so careless? So you are saying So that... really, mm. it's a hacker in the issue and his government who has brought us to our knees. This There's no not... minimum in the country. This is not a PF problem. Did, did they leave enough? Space? No, uh, President Lungu left enough at rise. Even that, the, the, you know, he's my young brother. Uh, and uh, we need to respect each other. Uh, uh, when uh, uh, PF left, mm. the sheds for fertilizer were full of seed and fertilizer. And according to him, it's not his wisdom, I call it naivety. He said he wanted to audit each and every shed to find out if uh, what uh, PF had said they ordered was actually in the sheds. Mm. We never got a report except saying some fertilizer was not given, but he himself gave his friends uh, uh, orders for fertilizer. Now he found a lot of maize. Mm. What was his statement? Millers, you are free to export. If you go back to the record I said, and I want to repeat, this man is going to cause hunger. This you is, said that? Yes, I did. I did. Before the shortage. Before the minimum. shortage, I said that it is not a coincidence that President Kaunda, President Chiluba, President Mwanawasa, President Arabi, President Saka, President Hakain, President Lungu. Lungu. It's not by coincidence that they would always say there should be minimum stocks. That's how a parent behaves. Mm. You don't empty your granary up to the last bit. I saw my late man. Whenever we harvested millet, 
She would take the one at the bottom from last year, take it out. It even has a name in Namwanga. We say Ekulu. Previous year's maize. Mm. You take it out and put fresh maize, and that which was previous year you put on top. I never saw my mother's granary empty to the last drop. And that is at the family level. That's at family level. It's called mm. household food security. But you have someone who is supposed to be a mega parent, a mm. father of a nation, who cares little about the orphan on the street. But this one, uh, Madam President, hold on. I don't know if my director can give me uh, a clip because there is a, a clip of a minister of agriculture saying that we are not going to stop uh, exporting, we are not going to stop. Uh, that directive came, came from the minister. My director. Even the president went that... to, to, to DRC and said we are bringing maize, but what is the, what their, their naivety mm. is in the ignorance of how you manage a home. Mm. That's where their naivety comes. Their naivety is inability to understand what is provided for in the Bible. Mm. That uh, a slave in Egypt saved nations by keeping food for the lean years. So it's mm. not just uh, the minister. The president himself is on record as saying that he is going to export maize they are even on the record as saying that they've earned so much money in terms of uh, uh, from exports of maize. So mm. uh, we will see the clip where the minister is saying that uh, uh, he has, uh, uh, they are not going to, exp to stop maize from mm. being exported. But what happened is that they didn't realize that Hunger in Africa stretched as far as Somali, Sudan, Kenya, mm. uh, Diara Congo, uh, the Great Lakes region. As we sit here, we mm. are surrounded by 16 countries just by virtue of us being at Mpulungu port. If these people are smart and they have what it takes, by now they should be able to uh, they should be able to be working on Mpulungu port as an inland port. But you see, they are so naive. They are so naive. I don't know what to say uh, so that they can understand. But it's very, very unfortunate that uh, they've brought us to our knees. They've brought us to be beggars. They, they don't understand what it should take to be able to, to run a nation. And for me, that's why I have said in the last 24 hours, Hakainde must resign. Hakainde must resign from being president because he has failed. He's going to plunge our nation into absolute crisis. So it's not fair for, for the nation that has been at peace for so long to be put in harm's way the way he has done to our nation. But uh, before you go to Akainde, President Nawak, why are you sparing the minister? I don't know if you heard from <coughs> if you heard from the president saying that you should sell mess, you should do this, but me, I am waiting for my director to give me that clip because I heard the minister of agriculture no. saying that we are not going to stop. This is where, if it's in Europe, madam, in America, this is where a minister on moral grounds will just step down to say I've failed. No, but pastor, there's a clip on cabinet. Mm. Uh, by Hakainde Ichilema, before he became president, mm. telling of PF that they've increased the price, they have exported all the maize. When he comes into office, mm. he will not export maize. Mm. You have all those documents. Mm. The people must be reminded that in his own words, he said mm. when he's president, he will not export maize before the people have enough food. 
He said they're exporting to Malawi, he will stop it. He will stop exports to Congo. He will not uh, allow any exports because PF prices are, are going up and, uh, and uh, there's, uh, there's, uh, there's hunger in the country. Mm. This is hardly two years ago. Mm. He has done the same thing. This is why I think and say this man obtained the goods by false pretense. You know, it's an offense to go to a shop and uh, obtain goods and not pay for them. The police will arrest you for obtaining goods by mm. false pretense. Mm. And how can they obtain the votes by false pretense? Because he said the price of minimum is going to be 50 kwacha. Mm. Now it's 462 kwacha, 25 kilogram bag of minimum in a shop right. And uh, I want to be very clear. This mm. is a, a, fi a 5 kg bag of minimum. Yeah. This is a 5 kg bag of minimum. Mm. I bought it today at ShopRite. Mm. The price is 59.99 in Gwe for a 5 kg bag of minimum. Is that the receipt you use? Yes, that's a receipt, just in case they say I've manufactured it. That's from ShopRite Great East Road, the former pick and pay. Now, you look, this is false pricing. He says 59 kwacha 99 ingwe. This is what we call false pricing in, in marketing. Mm. When you look at, at it, you think it's 59 kwacha. This is 50 kwacha. Now, how many 25 kg bags are in a 25 kilo bag? There are five. Five times 60 kwacha. 300 kwacha, Mr. Akainde. Minimi is going at 300 kwacha if you are buying my 5 kg. That is here in Lusaka. Shop right, British Road, mm. former pick and pay shop. Now, Mother's Pride is now. This is 2.5 kilograms. Mm. 2.5 kilograms. It's costing. 37 yes. kwacha, 36 kwacha, 99, 99. ingwe. Look at the receipt, it's called maize meal. Mm. Now, this is 2.5 kg. He says he, he's a fund in mathematics. So, you, how many 2.5 kgs are in 25 kilograms? Mm. It's 12.5. So, 12.5 times this, that's uh, 400 kwacha. Mr. Akainde is sitting at his community house and Minimi is being, is being sold at 400 kwacha. Mm. And you are, you are insulting us when we say... Thank you, Mr. Know. Director. Yeah. Mm. Now, that's not just a national meeting. What mm. I can say is that Akainde sits with millers every day because they go to him through mm. the millers association. So, I can only say to the people of Zambia, that he knows, he's aware. His state security intelligence, they are all aware. He just doesn't care. Hmm. This is one kilogram from Africa Mili. You came I'm the Madam President, eh? Shop, shop right. I'm a shop at shop right. Show it in that camera. Yes, that one. This is this is uh, one kilogram, one kilo. I don't even know if it's a correct weight. We have to ask weights and measure. Mm. Now this is 15 kwacha, 99 in weight. 16 kwacha. How many one kilogram uh, portions are in a 25 kg? Multiply this 16 kwacha by 25 kg. It's over 300 kwacha. And you call yourself a president. You are sitting at your community house. People are suffering. This is the what? This is 29 kwacha, 30 kwacha, mm. 2.5 kg. Net this weight. is from where? Africa milling in Lusaka. Mm. Now, this is 30 kwacha, 2.5. 30 kwacha by 2.5 times 12.5. How much is that? Mm. And, and you call yourself a head of state like this when people are suffering? Mm. How many, how many families can go and buy this? Mm. He is responsible for whatever is happening because we told him 
stop what you're doing. He wants to think that everyone is down. But you see, people have told me that, you know, you went to university with him. My answer is very categoric. Mm. Maybe Bale <laughs> Kupwa. Tarasa Mirira Economics. That. Because you see, they are saying that the millers are hoarding. Mm. Why anti why anti processors holding sugar? Why isn't Zambia sugar holding sugar? Why is anti the processors holding cooking oil? Mm. In economics, here in Asambiri, the University of London, in the University of Zambia, share kopa ine. You know, hello, takwadi multiple choice. Takwadi select one, two, three, or none of the above. Nimbi, nimbi, of Asambiri, the ba But if he really learned economics, he would have known that people are really, really on the verge. Mm. You see. When goods are scarce, like the dollar is scarce, the price goes up. Mm. When cooking oil is scarce, people will hold to try and make money. But when it is plenty, no one will hold. Mm. Now, is this normal for a young man who went to university to reduce the country to Pamela? He must resign. I actually think that even Ivana Lumango can be a better leader because she's a pastor, she has a congregation. So he must resign. I've seen a statement where they're saying, who takes over if he resigns? He has a, a vice president. Mm. And Ivana Lumango runs a church. Maybe she will understand the feeling of our people while we are arranging to go for elections. This man has no empathy. This man... It must be told to resign now because these are his friends. Shoprite, mm. these are his friends. Mm. These are the business community he mingles with and meets with. Mm. These are the so called investors that we have here. Now, when you talk, they say, however, now Africa to issue me, Chilanka Dipa. Because what is happening is that some of us have workers on farms. Mm. If you go to buy mini meal, they will tell you you are getting one bag. Does he how can they expect me to load a truck of my workers to come and start camping in Osaka looking for mini meal? Because you can't find 25 kgs anywhere. You can't. So you take workers. They are workers on farms. They are people who are sick. They, they are schools. Mm. They are orphanages. How, how do you buy mini meal if you are limited to one bag? This is not correct. This is just sheer ineptitude, incompetence, and lack of understanding of what the office of the president takes. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.